Welcome back. I'm Tanya and you're on Britannia Pets Grooming Salon's uh, YouTube channel. And this is a video I've been asked for quite a few times now, so it's obviously a bit of a sticky problem. Um, but I had a problem in that I needed some hair to grow on my standard poodle Amber before I could demonstrate safely for you. Uh, but we do now have enough hair. Um, not on you guys, because you don't grow your hair in the same way. Um, but the, the sticky situation is bottoms, bums, backsides, butts, whatever you want to call them. And of course, the hair that grows around there becomes a bit of a problem because poo sticks. And so I've been asked for a quick video just to, to help people who have this problem with their dogs and how to manage it. Um, how to keep them clean um, and how to trim away the hair that does become a problem in a safe way. So, as ever, the things that you're going to need, baby wipes. Um, yeah, okay, so in the salon we would use pet wipes, but when you're at home, a baby wipe is absolutely fine. Um, and this really is just to, to clean the bottom, make sure there's no poo, because what you don't want to be doing is scissoring the hair that is dirty. Um, trust me, it's vile. You especially don't want to be getting poo particles in your comb, because that is horrible. So yeah, baby wipes are really, really good. Um, I think Amber has a little bit of poo there uh not huge amounts because even though i love you guys she sleeps on my bed with me and so i don't allow poo to build up it's no no this is my home um and we don't want poo everywhere so yeah baby wipes i'll show you how to use them although i'm sure it's pretty self-explanatory another thing you will need is your comb and surprise surprise if you're cutting hair pair of scissors so let me get set up get amber in position figure out how i'm going to put her somewhere that you can see her bum that also she's safe and comfortable bear with me okay really really awkward angle to film on but it's the only way i can show you amber's bottom uh so <laughs> yes Tails. Um, there is a word of caution here with regards to dog's tails okay to, to expose the bottom, and as you can see, there's her bottom just, just here. Um, she's got a nice amount of hair, but be careful, but hmm, pun intended, um, with how you lift the tail. Okay, if you have a dog who naturally carries their tail high and up and over their backs, then you're good to go. That's absolutely fine. You won't cause any damage. If you have a tail, and I'm thinking of breeds like Labradors who naturally carry their tails out, <coughs> do not force that tail up um, because what will happen is you will damage the spinal area here and you will you will really hurt your dog and can cause permanent damage so if your dog is a breed that does not carry their tail high naturally move it to the side okay dogs tails they all move to the side nicely um but tails are really really important things i i a dog's tail is one of my favourite things. They are so expressive. They teach you so much. Um, but yeah, they, they, they do. All breeds carry their tails differently. So observe your dog. Notice where they carry their tail. If you've got a Bichon or a Shih Tzu or a Lhasa that carries their tails over their backs, a Pomeranian, um, then you're good to go. You can hold that tail up high. If your dog carries the tail up here like amber does then you can hold the tail up there but support it at the base if your dog holds the tail over here then hold it over there or to the side and then that will help you to to gain access to this bottom area um but yeah they they, they tell you lots with their tails and we've got happy tail super happy tail scared and frightened tail so tails are brilliant and we don't want to cause them any damage good girl amber you're being very very good yes so bottoms if we have a look amber has enough hair there for me to demonstrate that she has quite a bit of hair all around here and trust me when i say poo does get stuck okay 
So when your poo gets stuck, either whip them in the bath or the sink, sponge, shampoo and spot wash or if you haven't got time for that or the inclination and the energy then a simple wet wipe will do it and any Klingons you can pull away safely. <laughs> now I know some dogs really don't like their bottoms being touched and I can't say I blame them in the slightest. Um, not sure I would want somebody mucking around with my bottom either, but needs must. And if your dog is reticent, then gently does it bit by bit until you get it clean. But you do want it clean before you do any scissoring or combing. Trust me on that one. Okay, so once we get to a clean area... We're going to use the method that I've shown you previously. And if you've watched some of my videos, you will know this by now. We're using a comb to protect the skin. Okay, hold the tail up and expose the actual bottom. I know that's a beautiful view for you. And from there, pop your comb in and you can scissor away the excess hair that comes beyond your comb. And do it on both sides. until you're confident that you've got enough to help to keep your dog's bottoms clear. This is so awkward. I can't see, Amber, I can't see. But as long as you've always got your comb in the way between the skin and the scissors, you know that you're absolutely safe. You can't do any harm. And trust me, this area here is very, very delicate, very sensitive. And so the last thing we want to do is risk injury. But just taking that bit away there, <laughs> I know it's your bum bum, um, will really, really help. Now, if you've got a, a dog with even longer coat, um, oh, this is such an awkward angle, um, and it, it's poo ends up getting stuck all the way down here, then you can cut in a channel. And in the salon, people will know, I call this a poop shoot. Um, move this down a bit. And what I mean is between the anus and the groin area, you can take that bit short there. So use your comb, just as we have done. I'm gonna move that to the side. And scissor in just a little stripe, okay. And what we have there is a little channel, which is a lot shorter hair and leaves a lot less there for poo to get stuck to. So we've got now got a clear bottom, a little channel, poop shoot as I call it. Now another area that is tricky, and I can move this up a bit now, is the tail. Now Amber is not such a problem because when she's groomed, that bit of a tail is actually clipped really, really close. Um, but on other dogs, so again, your Shih Tzus, your Bichons, Golden Retrievers, dogs, Spaniels that have hair that starts there on the tails and comes down, you'll often find that, especially lazy pooers, that don't move their, their tails out of the way sufficiently, um, the poo will get stuck to the tail. Now, 
I've seen owners chopping all of this off all the way along here and leaving a dreadful tail. Don't do that. But what you can do is have a look. There's a natural arc. And usually, if there's all this hair here, you would be able to trim just that little arc away and then start the feathering from about here. And that will give enough clear area for poo to come out and not get stuck and to do that you would hold the tail out at a straight natural angle comb down and use your scissors just to trim away that natural arc area and again if you're worried I mean you shouldn't be going close to the skin at this point but if you are worried stick a comb in before scissoring um, but never scissor pointing that way um, yeah only one wrong move from your dog who backs up on you and you're going to have a lovely uh, vet bill on your hands so always scissor away from the anus towards the end of the tail and if that means holding it up and scissor in that way but never ever point towards the bottom dogs don't know that they should be standing still and that could be absolutely disastrous so yes there we have it uh, i can move this up again now that's how to deal with pooey bottoms on your dog um spot cleaning baby wipes work as long as it's not massive build up but really you should be making sure that your dog's bottoms are clean every day a short coat helps so when you get too much hair there just a light trim around the actual anus popping in a poop shoot area and clearing the base of the tail will help significantly in the meantime get brushing look after those dogs and all of us groomers will see you on the other side thanks Bye.